continuing on this, let's talk about Saudi Arabia, but not actually talk about this weekend trend yeah. that we have going on. Um, so there's been some renditions circulating social media for a new purpose-built track in Saudi for like 2027, in the late 2020s, let's say. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of been rumored or alleged that there will be a purpose-built track for Saudi. This is kind of the update of that. Um, Which we haven't gotten an update in years. No. And I immediately thought Rainbow Road. (laughs) This is, this is Rainbow Road. We are, we are moving into the Mario Kart era of F1 and moving away from Jetta, which I we you don't like Jetta. I don't love Jetta. Um, I think it's cool. Do I think it's realistic? No. Does it look super, no. super dangerous? Absolutely. Yes. So if you haven't seen their renditions, I highly recommend that you look at it. I think we also posted it to our, our story today. But um, turn one is elevated. And when I say elevated, I mean 20 stories above the ground elevated – and there's also, you know, 20 other turns besides t- turn one in there. But um, having a 20-story elevated turn one, what? Yeah. Not happening. It's really giving happening. Rainbow Road. And it so what's, Rainbow what's Road interesting Road. is is this track is being designed by a former F1 driver and a um, noted, you know, famed track designer. So this isn't like somebody who's just like, oh, wouldn't this be really cool? Like, this is somebody who has experience building Formula right. One tracks. It's but at the same time, like it's, it just, it's, it, the pictures are, just felt so chaotic. And I was just immediately very overwhelmed looking at it. Um, and it's just like, I don't know what to think at this point. I mean, I love it. Let's not get me wrong. Like, I'm obsessed. I love the idea of a rainbow road and, you know, F1. But also, like, alarms are going off in my head, like, danger, danger. Like, I don't see how you can have a car going top speed up 20 stories. That just doesn't work. Like, what happens if there's a crash? Or we have a Zhou Guan Yu, like, Silverstone event. Wait. And, yeah, you fly. Like, what? No. Are they going to make a tunnel? Is this truly going to be Rainbow Road? Like, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, gosh. that's... I have heart yeah, those, those are just thinking of this, Catherine. I I, yeah. I agree, and it's like how, from from a spectator standpoint, how does that work? Like like how how do the fans like watch from the blade or or anything like that? So there's a lot of questions. Um, this is all th- this track is part of what's called the um, Kadaya Entertainment Distri- District in Riyadh, um, which is this big massive thing that they started building i think in 2019 um and you know right as of right now i think the the contract for saudi arabia in Jeddah specifically which is a street track um is through 2027 so we won't see this until way far away and hopefully logic will come in and apply like a little bit and then they'll remember that safety is paramount in, in motorsport as well as cool shit um but it's it's interesting and and i i really don't know what else to say i've seen some positive responses from a number of f1 drivers fernando alonso posted it to his instagram today valtteri botas posted it to his instagram today um so clearly i think some of that is is like he was told to post that by you know you know people on his team um and i mean his pr team not like Aston Martin or, yeah. or, or Sauber. I mean, I think um, it also, like, has an interest and piques their interest as well. Like, having driven yeah. the same tracks for so long. Like, well, I know Vegas is new this year, but something different, something they've never seen before. It comes to them as a challenge. They're, you know, top-tier competitive athletes. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it'll it'll be interesting to see what this track ultimately does look like when it becomes something to exist. Um, and we will let you know um, in 2027, we guess.